Hello YouTube, it's me, Donovan, again, for another update on my battle jacket. And, as in the previous video, what I showed you, I finally placed the patches and sewed them where I had intentions on putting them. So, um, let's get started. Right here I have the, uh, the Exodus Bonded by Blood patch that is sewed on. Um, I believe it was the Master of Puppets patch that I used to have right there, but I don't want it anymore because it just was a crappy patch. Then I have the uh, Iron Maiden Power Sleeve logo, I mean, album patch that I sewed on. And I replaced the Kiss patch, and I just moved the Anthrax patch where the original Kiss patch used to be. And right here, like I said, I put the uh, the Sabaton Coat of Arms patch right here, followed by a Toxic Holocaust logo. So now the, uh, the Toxic Holocaust and Overdose of Death patch is now gone. It's no more to be seen, so this is the new side. I'm still trying to uh, replace that Metallica Black Album logo with a, uh, a Death Angel patch because that's pretty much one of the only patches I'm missing. That and a, uh, a Creator logo. So I'll probably get that one. I'm at the swap meet next time. Also, be sure to check out uh, Damaging. They're going to be in the swap. They're going to play at the swap meet pretty soon. So hopefully I can make that. And then for this side, it's pretty much the same. Although I took out the old Possessed Seven Churches patch. And I replaced it with a better logo, and I got the uh, the Evil Dead Annihilation of Civilization patch that I've been wanting to put on this jacket for a long time. So this one's finally on there, thanks to my good friend Justin. Rock on, brother. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the uh, the front jacket now. I'm at the front side of it. So uh, it's coming out pretty good. Maybe I'm going to add uh, a few more things. Um, and also I have this Kiss Army patch, which I might end up putting right there, but I'm not too sure on that, just because it would look kind of you know, retarded, but I'll find a place for that. And then I have this, uh, this really big Anthrax logo. I don't know what I'm going to do with yet, but, uh, it'll go somewhere. Probably not on this jacket, but on another jacket. And the other jacket that I've been wanting to show you for a while... But now I finally have it, and I'm able to show you it, is my black uh, Levi jacket. So this is it. This is it in the process of me making it. Uh, I got some patches on it right now, obviously, but just not enough. So hopefully, I mean, it'll be coming out good pretty soon. So um, I have this Bathory logo that was the first one that I put on. So, I'm pretty much, like I said, I'm going to base this off of uh, some black metal and some folk metal and also maybe some death metal. But, I don't know, just, I'm probably going to exclude more threat, like exclude thrash on this one. Just for more folk or uh, black metal. Um, and then I have this, uh, the Ensiferum patch that I showed you before. I really like this one because Ensiferum are one of my favorite bands. Um, the Enslaved Axioma Ethico Dini patch, great album, and Immortal Sons of Northern Darkness, followed by the uh, D-Side logo, which is pretty much like the other one that I have on my jacket, but it's this one's a larger one. Um, I have this Mayhem logo, and then I have a Voivod patch. So that's what's on the front so far, and then on the side I have, for each sleeve, I have separate... Baphomet patches, which I think looks pretty cool for the jacket. So, um, that's the front and the back patch that I have for it is um, Dark Throne, Circle of the Wagons. This is a uh, recent album. Uh, this was, I think, I believe this was before the Underground Resistance, but it's uh, one of their Crest Punk albums. It's a pretty good album, but I don't know if this is going to be a... Um, uh, permanent patch. This is probably going to be temporary. I'm just looking for um, like a doom metal patch, like a candle mask back patch, or just like maybe an enslaved patch, but I don't know. This is probably not going to be on forever. So, that's the, uh, those are both jacket updates. And uh, here's a new painting that I did. This is a Ronnie James Dio painting that I did not too long ago, so, you know, heaven and, uh, heaven and hell, you know, resemblance, reference to this painting, so tell me how you like it, and then I picked up some CDs recently, I got Death Angel Act 3, a good old school album, 
I got Enslaved Exiom Ephigodini, which is one of my favorite albums by the band. Um, if you haven't checked out Enslaved, you should really check them out. I mean, their old school stuff is pretty good when they used to be focused more on Viking subject uh, matter. But they just more, they talk about, uh, go within more in the mind. So that's why I like them. They're pretty original. Um, I got Ghost Opus Eponymous, a CD that is really hard to find in your record store. Uh, because usually you have to order it online, so I've been really looking for this, and I'm glad I found this. Uh, I got Testament, The Formation of Damnation, which is a very good album with the uh, the return of Alex Skolnick and the really fucking badass strumming of Paul Pistoff. Uh, and then I picked up D-Side, In the Minds of Evil, which I like really much because... I mean, sorry, I like very much because it's just a more old-school album. Because, uh, I mean, the tracks are just very good. I mean, the title track is good, and then also another favorite is Kill the Light of Christ. So, those two are my favorites. Uh, Glenn just really took it back to the old school roots on that one. It sounds pretty much actually like the uh, the first album. And that's pretty much it. That's everything that I had to talk about. So, yeah. Um, just like, subscribe, all that shit. And... Hopefully, maybe I'll even make some more videos, so stay heavy, guys.